as much as I like the sister, I have to correct her. So when you accept Islam, you are reverting, you are coming back to what you already have been before. With all due respect, Sister Maida from two years ago, you need to be corrected. I apologize to everyone who I have misled with my misunderstanding. So, my whole life, I have been using the word convert. And when I came to TikTok, I was corrected and explained that that is a wrong word and I should be using revert. And I was given the explanation that I used in that video that the Hadith says so and so, you were born as a Muslim. And I was like, okay, sounds right. I went with that. But it never really, like, I've never heard that word anywhere else other than on social media, revert. Like, okay. Anyways, it is not correct. This is what happens when we take the religion from translated sources. We are not studying or learning from the original source. The Hadith says you were born on a clean fitra, which is not the same as you were born as a Muslim. These are two different things. Clean fitra is a natural inclination towards what's good and what's right. Not as a follower of the Quran and the Prophet Wasallam. These are two different things. If that was the case, that you were born as a Muslim, then you wouldn't need to say the Shahada when you were saying, when you were accepting Islam. Hear this, you were accepting. So it was a willful decision, choice that you made. You were aware of the choice. You made the choice and you said the Shahada. So you are converting from one religion or no religion to Islam. So your correct term is convert, not revert. Revert means you're going back to something where you already been before. You haven't been a Muslim before. You haven't been following Islam, the Quran before. Revert applies to a person who was born in a Muslim family, who was practicing Islam, or even yourself who now have, has accepted Islam and decides to leave it, stops practicing, says, I'm no longer Muslim, and then repents and then reverts back. Now that's a revert. Somebody who was already a Muslim, practicing Muslim, and left Islam and then comes back. That is a revert. That doesn't apply to a person who comes from another faith or being an atheist and then accepts, says the Shahada. They are converting, not reverting. We need to, we need to correct this. This is a mistake. These labels are not good for us. We keep labeling each other and dividing furthermore. I understand that everybody wants to have some type of distinction that, that you let other people know your journey, that you can distinguish yourself from the born Muslims. I get that. And this is why I am proposing something different. It's not my idea. It's something that I came across from another brother. I can't remember his name, but I love this suggestion and I really wish we would start applying it more. So instead of using revert or convert, because some people continue using the word, either one of these words for more than three generations. And this way they're kind of like always separating themselves from just being a Muslim. He suggested we use the term first generation Muslim. First generation Muslim puts it all together. You are letting people know that you are the first one in your family, but you're also including the term Muslim, which is the most important part. You are a Muslim and we need to be an ummah, not keep dividing each other among reverse converts, born Muslims, this and that. There's no, there's no difference between us other than who does more good deeds. It doesn't matter if you're a revert convert from two days ago or somebody who has been practicing for many years. There's no levels. As long as you're practicing and doing good deeds, that's what matters. And... I wish we could continue using or start using the term first generation Muslim versus this convert revert. But who am I to say what other people are going to do? I have no say in anything. All I wanted to do is recap our last life and explain that the term revert is not correct in the English language, is not correct from the standpoint of the Hadith 
as well it was mistranslated and misunderstood it's not the way that we are taking it we were not born all as practicing muslims we were not born into islam we were born with a clean fitra and people who have more knowledge i'm sure will be willing to explain this for further people who understand arabic language better and who understand and know hadith more i wish they would take this and explain it a little better than i can but i just wanted to take this place and correct myself and hopefully reverse the damage i have caused with the lack of my knowledge so i hope we can go from here and start using the correct words inshallah i'm not saying either one is halal or haram let's not go there i'm, I'm just speaking from grammatically grammatically grammar all right ling linguistic point which term is better to be used.